They yeah, found your yeah. ghosties. You you have the building you talk. I think I just unplugged you again. No, the you building. Are. The building. Oh, I'm sorry. I wiggled your head. The building is old. You got ghosts in your house, no? Yeah, I have a a lady in my uh, house, and but she is uh, quiet. Sometimes I see her. So, yeah, and. Oh, she's okay. <laughs> yeah. So she can still live over there. <laughs> what your your house was built when? Oh, in the last century. I mean, I mean, eighteen hundred, and 18. it was yeah, eighteen hundred, and it was a mill. Uh, yeah. Yeah. A, a flour mill. A flour. Yeah, it was a flour mill, and later they put another building on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it's a big house, yeah. Big house, and yeah. no middle. We had a couple of disturbances where somebody threw a log, a wood log, at us. No. Had a had Oh yeah, we were sitting over here, and the wood was really. Um, he was sticking in that box. Mm -hmm, a wood box. Yeah, mm -hmm. in the middle, and it jumped out. Just like that. Huh? <laughs> yeah, <No? it's>, uh, <laughs> yeah. So we yeah. knew somebody was here. Mm. Well, Claudia, <coughs> your plan. When do you plan on coming back? Yeah, I think so. About in eight months, I want to come back. Eight months. Yeah. So everybody has eight months to make a decision. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If they want to come and see you or something. Yeah. And and you do accept dinner invitations, mm -hmm. yeah. While you while you are the visiting requestioner, mm -hmm. that's not even the word, but that's okay. We having fun. We're gonna go to the insert, huh? Yeah. And and do that. Yeah. So you, uh, Mike, Mike Johns, is gonna explain what happened to him mm -hmm. yeah. while he was under. Yeah. <laughs> so have fun. Yeah. To ask about past life regression and what my thoughts were on it, and it was done at a friend of mine's house and uh, by a person who had the uh, the knowledge and capability of doing it. Uh, she has a uh, her name is KC, and I was regressed. And uh, I felt very comfortable, and uh, it was very nice. And uh, they took me back, and I was with uh, a person who's kind of different. Um, my grandson is Apache, and. Uh, they regressed me back, and the name that I came under was Magnus Coloradus. And uh, he was very well respected. Yeah. And uh, he was brought up as a, uh, a, a warrior. And he lived in a time of, uh, of death and destruction through the hands of the uh, Spanish and Mexicans and also uh, those people that were uh, Americans. All my life I have uh, been very uh, sheltered and protected. Uh, I don't really trust everyone. And uh, I have nightmares with uh, uh, panic attacks. And uh, we decided that uh, with the questions that were given to me about who my friends were and uh, different things. I gave names of, uh, and places and uh, my uh, end of life it was a little bit different than what they had to say about Magnus Coloradus. Uh, they say that he was uh, killed trying to escape from a uh, a guardhouse, and uh, 
my recollection was that uh, there were many things different that occurred and I am trying to talk loud enough that you might hear me but uh, since there was death and destruction all around it was hard to trust people and it was hard uh, to call people by their Indian names uh, because you didn't know who was your friend and who was your foe and who was trying to tactfully manipulate you into giving information and uh, I was uh, very uh, fond of Cochise and Geronimo Natchez Pinas and uh, many others that were warriors. Um, I've always been uh, leery of things. I could make uh, Indian artifacts and uh, I would give them to my brother who would take them out and use them on uh, neighbors and family and then uh, my father would have to pay for it along with my mother and then whatever was made would be broken and then my dad would bring it back and uh, the artifacts to be remade and uh, with the uh, stipulation that I don't <laughs> I don't give them to my brother and uh, it was very interesting this uh, regression, uh, I do believe in it. Uh, I, believe, uh, I believe in past life reincarnation also. And uh, I was very uh, comfortable with uh, CK taking me back. And I also had another friend in the room who I felt very comfortable with, uh, Miss Lillian. And uh, she has uh, many contacts through the world, and uh, so does CK, and she's worked with a lot of people, taking them back and doing the things that they want to uh, find out about. It was very difficult for me. Uh, like I say, I have panic attacks and anxiety attacks. I usually have about 30 or 35 panic attacks uh, um, a week, but they've been cut down to like 15. And uh, the war that I have with myself and with others uh, has been cut down to zero. I don't wake up in a frenzy trying to hurt someone. And uh, I've always been... Uh, one that would uh, wake up and just, uh, I was very careful about the, the people that I talked to and the names that I gave and, and the things that I said and even growing up. And uh, my children all have Indian names so if something ever happens uh, I'll know that they're in trouble or they need me right away. And it's been passed on to my grandchildren, and I love them very much, with all my heart. And uh, like I say, past life re regression was made easier, and I was, I was felt very comfortable with the way I was, and uh, the way I was treated. And I had very uh, emotional moments with uh, things that were asked of me. Um, did, did I love my wife? Yes, my many wives. Uh, many of the children were killed or captured. Um, I had one daughter. And uh, one daughter that I can talk about. And now in this life I have uh, two daughters and two sons. And uh, I have uh, given them Indian names also. 
Uh, I'm very cold to the climate. I live in the uh, Northwest. I was raised in California and uh, very, uh, uh, very warm. And then uh, when my grandson, my daughter had this beautiful relationship with a, an Apache, out of it came a wonderful grandson. And he wanted to know who his grandmother was. So we went back to uh, Globe and we visited with uh, uh, the grandmother and uh, grandfather. And actually it's the step-grandfather. But we met the whole family and we asked who he was related to and they said everybody that was here. So it made a wonderful time even more wonderful. Now, past life regression, I believe in. And the people that took care of me, that helped me go back to find where my roots were, I love them very much with all my heart. And uh, I hope that this comes about in a in a nice way and that you might uh, understand where my heart is. Um, at that time there were many things going on, like I say, and everything was war. And uh, there was a lot of killing on both sides, on uh, the Indian side and also on the Mexican side, also on the um, Spanish side also on the American side. Many people were hurt on all sides. And that doesn't mean that you can look at this and let it go. And all I can say is I was brought out of it uh, and I was in tears uh, because of the people that were hurt and because of the uh, things that were brought out about me, the way that I was uh, dispatched in this life is not the same as they have in the history books. And uh, I'm grateful for those that uh, understand the plight and the many things that happen. And uh, if you have a chance to undergo this, I suggest that you have a professional such as KC do it, who takes the very time uh, to make you work and take you down and up to where you need to go. And. Uh, all I can say is, it's cut down on a lot of things on my life, and uh, I'll say love and light to you, and uh, the best that I have to offer uh, in my heart. Now, Magnus Coloradus uh, stood about almost seven feet tall, and uh, different questions were asked about how far it was to a kitchen and uh, different things and uh, questions trying to nail things down about the way that we lived and the way that we talked and the way that we were and the friends that we had and the people that were close to us and all the information is guarded and still is guarded and so I say this again, have a professional take care of you and uh, I'll say love and light to you and the best uh, to you with all my heart and uh, I hope that you are, have a chance to undergo this because I believe in it and I'll, I'll say this to you with uh, love and light.